Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, Oppo Find X2 Pro, OnePlus 8 Pro, Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, Black Shark 3 Pro, and Red Magic 5G. These are arguably the best Snapdragon 865 powered smartphones on the planet. Prices varying from the left all the way to the right, going from the most expensive to the cheapest. All of them have been updated in the software front. They all have LPDDR5 RAM. We have a couple 120 hertz refresh rate panel screens over here, 144 hertz on the Red Magic and the exception of 60 hertz on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II. We're gonna drop all the Quad HD panel phones down to Full HD Plus and we cannot change that on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II. So it's gonna be sitting at native 60 hertz 4K resolution display. We're gonna be using their respective high performance slash gaming modes on all devices, though the Black Shark for some reason doesn't support Antutu. We're gonna be using the IR thermal heat gun over here and we're gonna set the MS level to 0.5 since this is the best for electronic devices. We are using the same version 8.4.3 of Antutu Benchmark. Guys, this is Technic and without further ado, let's go. We're gonna start by checking the battery percentage at the start of the test here. We'll compare this at the end and get to a more detailed milliamp hours per minute result there for battery drain. Also checking the devices in degrees Celsius over here, just the sense of the device measuring battery and CPU over here. Once again, we will test this out at the end, but the Oppo Find X2 Pro seems the hottest right now and the Samsung S20 Ultra being the coolest at the current moment. We're gonna go ahead and start the test from the left all the way to the right over here. And we're gonna speed things up now and then so that I don't keep you guys here all day. But as for now, you can see at the bottom, 100% real time at the start of the test over here to see how gorgeous all of these wonderful phone displays look, especially being the 4K panel on that wonderful Sony Xperia 1 Mark II. We sped things up a little bit over there. I'm not sure if you guys noticed and we've slowed things back down to real time. What you're seeing is what I'm seeing. Remember guys that the Xperia 1 Mark II is the only one set to 60 Hertz. And the reason why I dropped the other panels down from Quad HD Plus to Full HD Plus is because the Samsung cannot do QHD Plus and 120 Hertz at the same time. Unfortunately for the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, we cannot actually change the screen resolution down to WQHD or even Full HD HD plus for that matter so you're stuck to 4k that does take a bit of a knock when it comes to a battery I guess we'll see at the end of the Santutu run so far all of them seem pretty smooth I do have the s20 ultra sitting on the snapdragon 865 variants of the phone over here so it should perform pretty similarly to the others but though we have seen with snapdragon phones in the past coming from Samsung they seem to dumb down their chipset so that it matches that of the Exynos chip phones so that it is not unfair for most of the global market who are stuck with the Exynos version. This is the third part of the Antutu benchmark run over here, version 8 that is. Checking out the Terracotta Soldiers over here, things are a little bit more jittery across all devices. This is pretty much the most intense part of the test. If you guys want to see more Antutu benchmark runs with a whole bunch of different phones and in different ways that I do run the test, please check it out in my channel. I also have an FPS counter between 60, 90, 120 and 144 hertz between them to see which one can actually push out the most frames and honestly guys, Antutu is a bit of a mixed bag. A lot of them when it comes to terracotta soldiers set at about 14 fps and that is why it is so jittery over here we're gonna skip through once more and we're gonna get to the scrolling effect of all the phones and we don't really have them side by side over here i have done quite a few of screen refresh rate comparisons on my channel also make sure that you guys go check that out they all seem pretty smooth over here and i am must say i am impressed with the sony xperia 1 mark 2's motion blur reduction which i have set enabled over here at the end of the test we have the biggest battery drain being the oppo find x2 Pro with minus 7% and 24.9 milliamp hours per minute with the best battery drain being the Sony and Samsung with 16.7 milliamp hours per minute though the Samsung did drain by just 4% the Sony drained by more but it does have a much smaller battery and now we're going to go ahead and test out the heat dissipation the heat management on each device like I said earlier I'm testing out the heat from the sensor of the phone so it picks up CPU GPU and battery all together over here so when it comes to the final results here the coolest phone overall is the S20 Ultra, but the one that gained the least in degrees Celsius was the Black Shark 3 Pro, only adding 13.2 degrees Celsius, with the OnePlus 8 Pro surprisingly added 18.9 degrees Celsius, and the Oppo Find X2 Pro was the hottest overall with a whopping 54.6 degrees Celsius. This is impressive on Sony's part since when I did a PUBG gaming test, the temps were a lot worse than this. When it comes to final results, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II was dead last 7th place over here with 545,000. Not far behind that is the S20 Ultra in 6th place 
place with 550,000. In fifth place, we had the OnePlus 8 Pro with a big jump up to 572,000. Fourth place, another little bit of a bump, the Oppo Find X2 Pro with 582,000. Third place, another tiny bump over there, the Black Shark 3 Pro with 587,000. Slightly better than that, the Red Magic 5G, also a gaming phone. The Red Magic 5G second place with 588,000. And the crowned king for so many years now, Xiaomi with their Mi 10 Pro in first place with 593,000 points. Though I have seen Oppo hit over 600,000 points in Antutu version 8 before in previous versions of the application. When it comes to individual categories, the best CPU award was allocated to the Red Magic 5G and worst CPU, the S20 Ultra. Worst GPU is the Sony and the best GPU is wonderfully the Mi 10 Pro. Best memory is the Oppo Find X2 Pro, surprise, surprise. And the worst memory is the Xperia 1 Mark II. Best user experience, the Red Magic 5G and worst for some reason, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II. Stay tuned for more videos on the Sony as well as all of these devices. This is Technic and I'll see you in the next one.